All right, everybody, 915 in a program aimed at educating prisoners has proven to be so successful that it's now expanding in New York State. Yeah, for 40 years, the New York Theological Seminary has been teaching a course at Sing Sing Prison, which, which allows incarcerated men at the maximum security facility the chance to earn a degree while behind bars. Now, women serving time in prison at the Bedford Hill Correction Facility will benefit from the accredited course as well. So joining us, joining us this morning to share more about the benefits of the program is Dr. Lakeisha Waldron. She is president of the New York Theological Seminary and Criminal Justice, and, and, sh and she's here to tell us all about the program. So thanks so much for joining us. Good morning, good morning, and thank you so much for having me. Good morning. Yeah, so what kind of degree can the incarcerated men and women earn through this program? Um, thank you so much for asking. This program has been offered in New York State for 40 years. Um, our uh, students are able to earn a Master of Professional Studies, which is a 30, 36 credit uh, accredited uh, master's degree, um, and they're able to do that within one year. Um, and so for the past 40 years, we've had a, a graduating class every year, and we've graduated over 520 men from this program. Uh -huh. Wow. Yeah, so when you look at the, the evidence, right, because you have some of the numbers to back it up, what do you have then to show that the program is actually working to improve the lives of those inmates? Um, absolutely. So our students come out and they, get, they go on to assume so many different leadership positions, um, from starting their own nonprofits to going on to earn PhDs and becoming professors um, at notable colleges and universities. Um, they're just doing amazing things. Um, and one of the reasons we know this program works is because our recidivism rate is less than 10% mm. over the 40 years of the program and less than 5% in the last 10 years. Um, and so we're so grateful because we know that there's evidence that this program actually yeah. works. Wow, that's great. Well, Dr. Alderman, more than 400 incarcerated men have completed this program, right, at Sing Sing? How, how much does this um, say? Correct? Or... Um, it's actually five, over 500, so we oh, have wow. 520 who've completed so far, yes. Wow. So does the, how much does this program actually cost? Are, are taxpayers paying for this? Great question. So no, taxpayers are not paying for this program, um, although it is something that I think we ought to consider because mm -hmm. it's something that we know that works. Um, and so each year, New York Theological Seminary is responsible for doing the fundraising um, so that we can provide scholarships for these men um, to complete the program. And so we're actually having our major fundraiser on June 2nd uh, there at the Capitale, which is going to be raising money not only for this program, um, but we're expanding the program to offer it at Bedford Hills for Women. Yeah, and that's, a, that's a big part, right? Because the, according to the, the stats from the, the Bureau of Justice, the number of incarcerated women has skyrocketed over the last three yeah. decades, right? So is that why you decided to expand the program to include women? Well, you know, it, it is so true. And we want to be uh, a school that offers women the same opportunity. One of the reasons I came to New York Theological Seminary was because of this program, the program at Sing Sing, uh, because for me, it felt like it was a seminary that was really practicing what it was preaching. Mm. Um, and I guess as the first woman uh, president, I may have been the first person to say, you know what? We've been doing this for the men. It's been working for the men. Isn't it about time we start doing this for the women as well? So I'm so grateful that after 40 years of successfully um, having this program at Sing Sing, we're now in the fall going to be starting this program for the women at Bedford Hills. Mm. And I'm so excited because this program not only provides a rigorous education for our students, but it gives them the tools that they need so that when they come home, they're able to gain employment, they're able to, mm. to, to move on and have a productive life to keep their families together. Um, so this program participates in decarceration because they don't go back but also re-entry because it helps them to move forward and be strong. We know it's hard mm -hmm. um, when folks come home, even to get a job. So this program really helps them to get the foot in the door. It's mm -hmm. really exciting. Well, despite the program's success, you still have critics, right? I mean, you have critics who argue that incarcerated people, they're in prison to pay for a crime they committed, not to get mm -hmm. a free education. What do you say to those folks? Well, they are not getting a free education. They are earning. They are mm -hmm. earning a degree. Um, in an effort to make their, their lives better, in an effort to improve their circumstances. Um, and so, yes, they are there. They are repaying their debt to society. But don't we want them to come home and be prepared mm. to be productive people mm -hmm. in, their, in their communities, in their homes, in their families, um, in their places of worship? And that's what we're doing. So we want men and women to come home with dignity. 
We yeah. want them to come home as humans. We want them to come home, you know, with honor so that they can live the life that God has created them to live. And that's the opportunity that we're providing. Yeah. So, Doctor, what are the, uh, the requirements to apply to the program? Um, is there an application deadline that people should follow if they're interested? Um, absolutely. Absolutely. We have our, our applications. Uh, we have, you have to have a bachelor's degree, of course. Um, all of our students have to go through an interview. They have to have their recommendations. Uh, they have to have their transcripts, pretty much just like any other program requirement, any other graduate degree. I mean, most of our students are getting that undergraduate while they are incarcerated as well. And so they just come through their undergraduate program and they go right into our graduate program. Uh, we accept applications through about mid-May um, and the class starts in August. Well, it's so nice to see that you are making a difference. Dr. Lakeisha Waldron, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for having me. Yeah, right. we appreciate your time. Uh, 921, everybody. Ben and Marisol, they, they got a great assignment this mm -hmm. morning, right? They are out.